What's up guys, KG, Rough to be Rough TV today. We are talking about hamstring exercises, okay? So we're gonna go through an easy exercise, a moderate exercise, then an advanced exercise, okay? So you don't wanna start one before the other. Make sure you do these in order if you've never done them before. So the first thing we're gonna do is an isometric bridge. So the whole goal is you wanna raise box anywhere from 12 to 16 inches off the floor. Um, I want you to note that the heels are driving into the box. You need to get your ass pretty close, not too close and not too far away to where there's a good amount of flexion in your knees. The whole goal of the exercise is to engage your hamstrings and hold, okay? When you lift your hips off the ground, you wanna feel your hamstrings engage by bringing your heels to your back pockets. So first rep, you're gonna take your hands out in front, you're gonna clasp them, not by the sides. Hands out in front, you're gonna clasp. Feet are nice and square. Now tailbone goes first. My tailbone goes first, and now the important part here is I'm trying to pull my heels to my back pockets. I'm not just relaxed. You should feel the hamstring nice and tight. And then you just want an isometric hold. You can see my toes are boxed up. I'm not pointing. My toes are boxed up. And then on the way down, you want to go top vertebrae, working your way down to the tailbone. So I'll give rep number two here. Tailbone goes first. And I'm going to start pulling my heels towards my back pocket as if I'm driving them into the bench. That is the most crucial tip when doing this exercise and I would recommend holding anywhere from five to ten, ten seconds per, per repetition. Drive up, hamstrings are pulling towards, my heels are pulling towards my ass to my pockets. Ooh, they're already burning. I'm gonna do one more. Tailbone first. Heels to your pockets. I'm driving my heels into the bench. I can't stress that enough, or you're not gonna feel this exercise. Okay, numero dos. Moving on. Oh. Stability ball, hamstring curl. Now we're gonna add a little bit of flexion um, to the knee. So you'll start flat on your back, just like the last exercise. You want the arch of your foot to match the arch of the ball, if that makes sense. The arch, you don't wanna to be too heel dominated and you don't wanna to be too toe dominated. So arch of the foot to the arch of the ball, elbows into the mat, you're gonna go into hip extension, very similar to the last exercise. You're gonna hip extension. If I were to put a Hot Wheel, like a, a mini toy car, it should go right off my shoulder. And then from here, I'm gonna add some flexion and extension while keeping the hips high. Notice that my butt is not dropping down towards the ground. I'm kicking out, getting onto my heels, and then as I come in, I'm getting just slightly onto my toes. I'm focusing on the backs of my legs on my hamstrings. So we have the hamstring curl on the ball. 15 to 25 repetitions. Remember, it's not so much the number, it's more so the stimulus that you're feeling in your hamstrings. Now the third exercise, this is, is, this is an advanced exercise. So, if you're having trouble with these, master these first before you move on to the GHD, which is right behind me. So this is a GHD glute, or excuse me, GHD hamstring raise, okay? So the setup's kind of tricky. You wanna make sure that the caps of your knees are right on this side of the pad. You don't wanna be too north and you don't wanna be too low. Kind of see, I like to put like little indents so I can see where my knees are gonna go. So. I'm gonna show you the most difficult version of the exercise first, and then I'm gonna use, show you with assistance with a band that's gonna help deload some of the weight on your body, okay? So the first one will be more difficult, with the band it'll be easier. So you're gonna, you're gonna saddle up, you're gonna saddle up, feet go inside. As in with any exercise, how you ground yourself, how you create your base is the most important. Now, you don't wanna bow. I see a lot of people do this because they're afraid to fall forward. You're probably not ready for this exercise. This is all about getting extension in the knee. Get the knees down low, so you should feel nice and snug here. They shouldn't be below, okay? Now, crisscross those arms, dig your toes into the plate, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my knees go straight, and I'm gonna extend forward, just like this. When I get here, I'm gonna drive myself up with my hamstrings. Drop forward, letting the knee go straight, and then 
drive myself up with my hamstrings. One more time. You okay, technical difficulty that we ran out of memory card. <laughs> so, one more time, you're letting yourself drop forward, and then using your hamstrings to get yourself back up. Like I said, this is an advanced exercise, so if your body weight's too heavy, or this is too difficult for you, you're gonna attach a band here. Now, actually, let me show you how to do this. This is like the really tricky part. I get questions on this. So, you're gonna take a super band, and you're gonna put it around the anchor. So, this is a two inch super band. You're gonna put it around the anchor of where your feet go, and it goes, bleeds out the top there. Now, just for the sake of being efficient, you can take this band and loop it up here just like this. That way you can grab it when you set up. So the setup is exactly the same. You're up, slide your feet in, dig your knees. You're gonna unhook the band, okay? Unhook the band. And then you're gonna go up over the head and over the shoulders like a backpack. Over the head, over the shoulders. Now this is gonna spring my body back and make the hamstring uh, raise much easier. It's gonna deload some weight. So you can see I'm probably gonna look more efficient because now the band is helping me out. Dropping forward, utilizing just my hamstrings, putting them into flexion like I'm kicking my heels to my ass. And you can see if you want more help, pull down and tighter. You keep this, keep this close to your torso. Drop your chest forward, let the knees go straight, hamstrings flex, and get you back up. Okay, two inch super band, blue hamstring raise on the GHD. I'm KG, <coughs> Rough to be Buff TV. We're talking hamstrings today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Drop a like if you found this use, uh, video useful. Sub if you're new around here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.